the Cornerman Radio, back at you live, Barzini. I wanted to talk about Gilmore Rigondeaux versus Vasily Lomachenko. Well, these two fighters been going back and forth and their teams for years. You know, um, they were discussing the fight years ago, trying to make a fight when Lomachenko was at featherweight and Rigondeaux was still at 122. And Rigondeaux team first wanted to do it at a catchway at 124. Lomachenko was like, nah, we're the A side. You should come up to 126. I I looked at it, it was just two pounds, you know what I mean? Like, y'all, you, he's coming up two pounds, you dropping down two pounds. It, it was all, it was all cool to me, but it never happened. Now, fast forward, Lomachenko is at 130 now, and Rigondeaux's team was saying, yo, fight me at 126, maybe in a catchway as well, but they were really pushing for 126. Now, I look at it as being fair as well, you know what I mean? But Lomachenko's side, they want to stay at 130. So now uh, Rigondeaux's team... And Rigondeaux is saying, we will fight you at 130. And they're trying to they're trying to um, call Lomachenko's team their bluff. It's either f- fight me or don't fight me, you know what I mean? So we're going to see if these two guys is going to fight each other. But one thing I got to say, man, that's two weight classes Rigondeaux has to do to fight Lomachenko at 130. Now, we have seen in this generation when these fighters move up two weight classes, it doesn't work out for them. You had first Adrian Broner moving up two weight classes, got defeated by Marcos Maidana. Now, um, second, Kel Brook, he fought Triple G at two weight classes. Didn't work out for him. You had American did the same thing. It didn't work out for him. But one thing I can say, these fighters are trying to be great. They're trying to do greatness. But it also backfires on them when they move up two weight classes. You know what I mean? But Rigondeaux wants to fight the best fighters. You know what I mean? And we have to salute him on that. To me, I really don't want to see Rigondeaux move up two weight classes because it all it always backfire on these fighters. But you know what I mean? If he wants it, I'm not going to mind it. I'm not going to knock it. You know what I mean? I'm going to watch it. Two superiorly skilled fighters, two-time golden medal champions. I like, yo, I, I I'm not going to knock it, man. So but I would rather see Rigondeaux fight Jesse Magdaleno or Ray Vargas in a unification. Uh, Lomachenko, I think he needs to fight that Salido fight, man. Avenge that loss and, thank, and fight Geronte Davis because a lot of people got Tank rated very high. So those are the fights I want to see for Rigondeaux and Lomachenko. But if these two super skilled fighters fight each other, I'm not going to knock it. But damn, man, I don't want to see Rigondeaux move up two weight classes to fight Lomachenko. And then if he's if he lose, a lot of people going to give it's going to be an excuse. It's going to be excused, oh, he moved up two weight classes. It was his first fight. You know what I mean? He didn't test the waters. I just don't want to hear no excuses. That's why I really don't want to see. Now, if Lomachenko came to 126 and Reagan down moved up one weight class and Lomachenko went down one weight class, then that would be more fair. But him to do... Two weight classes, man, I think is really unfair. But he said he's willing to move up to 130. So if he got to do it, he's going to make a money anyway. So, But that's all I got, man. It's the Cornerman Radio. We out.